This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to use the lookup transformation to look up a single piece of information from a reference table. Here's the input file we'll be working with. It's an Excel file, and you can see we have three columns there, the date, commodity, and country. We're going to use the value from the country column to look up the tax rate for that country in our reference table. And these tax rates are all complete fiction. I just made up some numbers. So we'll start out in Visual Studio here. I'll drag the data flow task onto the control flow canvas and then double click on it to go to the data flow canvas. And of course, we're starting by reading an Excel file. So we drag the Excel source component onto the canvas. And this will be used to read delivered commodities is the name of the Excel file. And we'll create a connection manager here. So we browse to find the delivered commodities Excel file and we'll click OK and then we need to choose the sheet which there's only one called shipment dollar sign you can preview and there we are looking at the same data and we click OK and now we're going to go find the lookup component and that's right here under the common category. And this will be um, looking up tax rate by country. Stay tuned to see how I configure the lookup transformation and the rest of the package. <laughs> So then we connect the arrow, we double click to open the editor for the lookup component, and we'll leave it set to full cache for the cache mode, and we'll leave the connection type set to OLEDB connection manager, and down here where it says specify how to handle rows with no matching entries, we will select redirect rows to no match output. We could have directed it to the error but I'd like to keep it separate from a regular error. And there will be two rows that won't have a country in our reference table. And now we're going to set up the connection manager for the reference table. And we choose the new tutorials database. Then we select the table and it is called country tax rate. And we'll preview that. There you can see that just has two columns. It has a country and then it has a tax rate. And now we'll go to columns. First I'm going to map the country column in our input file to the country column in our reference table. So you have to actually drag it pass this checkbox over to country to do the mapping. And then tax rate is what we want to pull out. That's what we're looking up. So I need to put a check mark in the checkbox for tax rate. And then down here you can see the lookup column. That's what we're looking up is the tax rate. And we want it to add it as a new column in our output tables. And then the alias we could name it something else, but we'll just leave it set to tax rate. And there are no other choices for the lookup operation. All right, we're done configuring the lookup transformation. And now we'll scroll down and we need to use the OLEDB destination twice, once for the matched 
records and once for the unmatched records. So we'll do the matched records first. And when we drag the blue arrow, since we told it we want another type of output for unmatched, we need to select which output this one's for. So look up match output is for the matched records. And we'll double click on the OLEDB destination. And the name of the table, well, we don't have the table yet. We need to set up the table. So I'll click on new and I was going to name this table match table. And we click OK. And now we can view. There's four columns there, the three from the original file, date, commodity, and country. And then there's the tax rate that will be added. And now we click on mappings so that the columns get mapped. And we're done configuring that path. Now we'll drag OLEDB destination onto the canvas again. And now we'll be handling the unmatched records. So we'll drag the blue arrow over here. And now it automatically, it knows it's the lookup no match output because the other side is for the lookup match output. So we'll double click on here. And again, we need to set up the table. So we click on new. And I want to name this one No Match Table. Click OK. View it. And there we only have the three original columns because we were not able to look up the tax rate because no country matched our country. So we close that. And now we click on Mappings so that the columns get mapped. And that looks good. So now I'll save the package and right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package. And it was successful. And here you can see there were 52 records or 52 rows total. And 50 of them were matched and two of them were not matched. So I'll stop debugging. And we'll go over to Management Studio. And I'll execute this. It's uh, selecting all from both tables. So there you can see the lower table. There's only the two records. And then the other table uh, with the, for the matched records does have 50 rows. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.